Hello and welcome to video 2 of my Electricity Lectures video series. This video is meant to be a simple introductory, and in this video I will be covering electrical theory. First, we don't call it electrical science, we call it electrical theory because a lot of things go on with this stuff that we just don't understand. Before you can even start to understand electricity, you need to know what insulators and conductors are. Conductors are materials that allow electrons to pass through them very easily. Good examples of conductors are this piece of number 4 copper wire and this aluminum service entrance cable. Now, insulators are materials that don't allow electrons to pass through them easily. Good examples of insulators are porcelain and glass like these insulators and rubber like the lining in these gloves. If you look at a wire, you see a conductor which is wrapped with an insulating material. Now this is a different type of cable. It has two conductors on the inside and it's it's insulated and it's wrapped by another layer. That's actually your neutral wire, since this is a 240 volt cable. Although overhead power lines are uninsulated mainly due to cost, the only place they're insulated is where they come in contact with poles or towers, or they're completely underground. Now there are such things as semiconductors, but that's another video in itself. Now the second thing you need to understand is what electricity actually is. Simply put, electricity is just the flow of electrons through a conductor. Here is a small demonstration. When you flip a switch, you put an extra electron on the wire and it bumps one off the end and it keeps bumping them off the end like that. There is so many electrons in a wire that the extra one you put on it will never actually make it to the other side. Now, the reaction happens at the speed of light, but the actual electrons don't move at the speed of light. To get the electrons moving, you need something like this generator right here. Now when I crank this generator, a coil of wire rotates inside of a magnet, and it causes the electrons to flow. I'll cover AC and DC in different types of loads as well as measurements in a future video. You can get electricity to do a lot of useful things, like make motor spin, like this motor example here. Now to control electricity, you just simply put a switch on it to stop the current flow. And to limit the current flow, you need to use fuses and circuit breakers like these. Now this is a fuse and circuit breaker that you would put in a house, and this is what you would use on a power line. This is known as a sectionalizer, and this is known as a cutout. This fuse simply pops out. The fuse actually goes in here like this. And this is what a 100 amp power line fuse looks like. I'll cover fuseology and show more about this stuff in a future video. And I will also show you how to install this stuff on poles. And now for the demonstration that you've been waiting for. Now everyone has to ask, why don't power lines short out when it rains? Well the fact is that the rain and any precipitation is pure water, which is non-conductive. Now I've covered this insulator with water. There's 5,000 volts going across it. Now when these get wet, the water just simply like boils away like this. That's all it does, it just boil away like that. Now if it's dirty, you get what's called a pollution flashover, which will cause the power line to short out. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this video was informal and be safe.